Aloha, it's Kanaka Yab Yab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. Football fans, the 2024 Football Fever Contest is here. Pick up a copy of the Star Advertiser and submit your picks by Friday to meet or beat the score of the winning panelist each week. Play each week for a chance to win $500. At the end of the season, one lucky grand prize winner will win a trip for two anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. Special thanks to our Football Fever sponsors, Hawaiian Telecom, Long's Drugs, and Alaska Airlines. Don't miss out on the action. Join the Football Fever Contest weekly for your chance to win. An affordable condo project in Kaka'ako, the Block 803 Waimanu, is facing foreclosure nearly three years after opening. The Hawaii Housing Finance and Development Corp is considering action against the developer due to financial struggles from 61 unsold units. Despite prices starting at $276,000, the developer hasn't been able to cover $500,000 in annual costs, including taxes and fees. The agency may take control of the unsold units to recover a $9.8 million loan. Renting out units without approval and unpaid loan interest are also factors contributing to the foreclosure risk. The Naval Criminal Investigative Service is asking for the public's help in solving the 44-year-old murders of two Hawaii-based Marines. Lance Corporal Lawrence Martins and Lance Corporal Rodney Padilla were found shot and beaten at Mauna Lua Bay Beach Park in 1980. NCIS is offering a $10,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. Anyone with tips can contact NCIS through their app, website, or by calling Crime Stoppers. NCIS says these young men serve their country and their murders deserve justice. U.S. Representative Jill Tokuda honored the 102 victims and two missing individuals from the August 2023 Maui wildfires by reading their names into the congressional record today. Tokuda highlighted the ages of the youngest victims, including 7-year-old Tony Takafua, 11-year-old Justin Recolizado, and 14-year-old Keiro Fuentes. She emphasized that while these victims are no longer with us, their names and memories will be remembered forever as the community works to rebuild Lahaina. Hawaii County has purchased two refrigerated containers to address overcrowding in the Hilo Medical Center's morgue, where bodies from police investigations make up 60 to 70 percent of the total. The $80,000 containers are a temporary solution as officials consider an emergency proclamation to expedite their use. Hawaii Police Chief Benjamin Moskowitz says a long-term fix is being explored with county and state leaders. The county is also working on a permanent morgue solution with $1.5 million allocated for a new facility through recently passed legislation. PAR Hawaii plans to develop Hawaii's largest renewable fuel production facility at its refinery in Kapolei. The $90 million project will produce 60 million gallons of low-carbon biofuels annually, including renewable diesel and sustainable aviation fuel by mid-2025. To move forward, PAR Hawaii must secure a zoning variance to exceed height limits for new equipment. The project aims to support Hawaii's shift to renewable energy and reduce carbon emissions. If approved, the facility will play a key role in decarbonizing local industries, including partnerships with Hawaiian Electric and Hawaiian Airlines. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.